everyone, it's Amy, and welcome back for week 136 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today we are going to make a stamp cleaner. This was requested by um, Margarita German, and um, she requested this one, and she also requested next week's. So thank you very much for your request. So this is going to be a very simple tutorial, um, but it is something that is really nice to have. So what we're going to do is we've just got two nice flat bowls and we have them as one for our cleaner and one for our, um, like one for washing, one for dry, I guess, or something, wash and rinse. So um, what we're going to do to start with is we are going to, we needed to get our lids and we're going to take our dish drying mat and again, this is just a mat from the Dollar Tree, which is a little thin piece of foam inside of some terry cloth. So we'll just open this up. Oh, it's got one more of those things on here. And we are going to just measure it to fit inside of our lid. So I'm gonna... Why did I put them back together? I had them apart once. Alrighty, so we're going to look at this, and I'm going to put this on here. I want it to stay, we don't want it to be in the part that has the lip on it, where it has to go back on the bowl. So I'm going to line up, that's out here. So I'm going to line this up so that it will fit within this part right here. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and say in order to be inside this one I'm going to need to cut right here and because this has lines on it I am just going to basically follow those lines now this is not perfectly perfectly straight but that's all right we're going to need two of these so I'm going to go all the way to the top and then I think we'll have enough to make them both Set that aside. I'm going to put this in here. Okay, it does fit over here. It does fit over here. It's fitting over here. So now for this one, in order for it to fit inside, I'm going to cut it right here. And then I'll trim off the corners because this has rounded corners in it. But let's see if that's going to do it for us. That's inside, that's all of them are inside. So now all I need to do is just round the corners a little bit. And they don't have to be perfect or anything, just so that they don't catch our bowl when we stick it back on top. And see, the, the reason that we want this type of a The sponge will hold a little bit of the um, cleaner that we're going to make, but it's not going to soak up a whole ton of it because you don't need a whole ton just to clean a little tiny stamp. Okay, so we're going to make sure that that fits in there. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take one of the bowls, we're going to put it on top. And yep, that fits. So now that will fit inside of there. That's all we needed to know. So we'll put that there. And then what I'm going to do, and, and I don't know how long that this will last. The, I'm going to put the carpet tape in there. Now the carpet tape may not hold it forever because we're going to be getting it wet. But it's, it's worth trying. Um, you know, you don't have to have it. But with the carpet tape, then... Um, you don't have to hold it every time. So this is a little bit, um, it's as high as the rest of it, or it's the highest spot, so I'm going to put my carpet tape right on there. So I'm going to put that right there. And you can use any type of containers that you want for this. Um, I used to have a stamping up 
um, stamp cleaner and when I had it um, I actually used it so they are nice to have because if I don't have a stamp cleaner around my stamps don't get cleaned um, I stamp them off and that's as far as I get so hopefully now that I have this I actually might use it Again, then I want to line it up to make sure that the bowl is going to fit on top because I'm going to store it this way. I'm going to set the bowl on top of it and then store it this way. And the thing is, is that it does not have to be um, sealed tight because whenever I used mine, I sprayed the, the cleaner on it, I sprayed, sprayed water on it, and then I let it um, dry when I was done with it. Um, I very rarely ever closed it. And um, you know, and then I would just put new cleaner on it every time that I that I used it. So that way I knew it wasn't going to get moldy. So you don't have to have a super tight seal on this. And I'm gonna we're just gonna make the other side because you'll have one side that you wash it with and one side that you rinse it with. And then you'll let your stamps sit and dry. You don't put your stamps away when they're wet. Of course, this isn't going to get them real wet, so. Okay, I think I need to trim just a little bit off of here. Okay. And then, I was thinking, I think what I'm going to do with this one is, I am going to cut the corner off just a straight line like this instead of rounded oh that doesn't really matter if they're exactly the same but I really what really matters is that they'll fit inside the lid so let's do this and this one's going to be right here um, this way I'll know that the one with the square edges is my clean water stamp or clean water and the one with the rounded edges is my soapy water and so then when I go to use them the next time I'll know which is which so that one time I'm not putting soapy water on one and then the next time I'm putting soapy water on the other and there we go. Not perfect, but I need to trim this down just a little bit. And I have to make this corner a little bit more of an angle because it's really driving me crazy because it's so off, even though it fit. There we go. Alrighty, and then we're just going to put our carpet tape on this one, and then we'll be ready to just make our um, cleaner. that burnish it down good because maybe that will make it last longer and then if it does let loose at some point in time you just put some more on there and if it doesn't hold at all well then we just hold down the the pad with our hand let's take this one just make sure that I'm getting it where it will fit inside Again, like I guess that really doesn't matter. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is, um, this is just a sprayer that I have in my builder stash, um, stash, and it was just at one point in time some kind of a body spray or something. One of my um, girls gave me the bottle, and um, so I'm going to use this one, which has clean water in it, just plain water. And I am just going to spray the water pad with water. And it doesn't have to be soaked. This is a very fine mist, so that's, it seemed like a lot, but it really wasn't that much. So that one's ready to go. Now the next one, um, I have filled this bottle. Mm, 
half three quarters of the way full there is I don't have a recipe recipe for this you just don't want a ton of soap in it so I'm going to do this is the cap for the for the baby shampoo but it actually only starts you know the bottom of it is right here so we've only got that much room okay because this part right here is all mechanism so I'm gonna fill it about halfway with baby shampoo that is probably about one teaspoon and then I'm just gonna dump that in there and then I am going to put a little bit of glycerin the baby shampoo is to clean your stamps the glycerin is to um, help keep them moist or rubbery or whatever you want to say um, glycerin is just uh, and I'm just gonna put in just here I'll do it by drops I guess One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay about ten drops and like I said there is no perfect just not a ton of glycerin not a ton of shampoo but and then what you're going to want to do is you don't want to shake it shake it because you're just going to wind up with a whole bunch of bubbles but you're just going to want to mix it around so in any stamp cleaner that whether you buy it or not you still have to you know swirl it around a little bit when you before you use it or everything settles to the bottom so each time you use it just give it a little bit of a swirl it does it stays pretty suspended it doesn't settle to the bottom like mica powder does so but and then each time that you want to use your pad I think that's probably pretty good whoa I wonder if this has options let's see okay that's closed completely oh well this bottle doesn't seem to have options. It's a very strong spray. I like ones that spray like that better, but this is the one I have, so it is gonna work. I'm just going to put it on my mat. There we go. Yep, that feels pretty good. And then that's it. This is what you're going to wash with. That's wash. This is rinse. And so you have your little stamps. And you want to stamp a sentiment. Which I have now all over my... And there we go. You make me smile. You all do. That's really cute. I'm going to cut that out and keep it. But now we've got this purple on here and we need to get rid of it. Now, we can stamp it off, which it's still a good idea to stamp it off for a few reasons. Number one, you can use those on other projects. Cut them up, put them in with your little ephemera bits. Just, you know, they're cute. But it's still not all gone. And then you just take it. This is our wash. So we're just going to rub it on there. That's it. Give it a press, give it a rub. And then, and really I kind of overdid that. Really like this is good enough. And then you just go on here and do this. And there we go. Now our stamps are clean. And like I said, don't put them away wet. But they're really not very wet because we didn't put a lot on here. And then even, since I had that all over here, I might as well just wipe that off so that I'm not just leaving it there to dry. And there we go. We have our stamp cleaner. They work perfectly. And like I said, you don't have to. Um, I just leave mine sit to dry. Um, this is about the size of what my, the one that I had from Stamping Up, which I've lost. Um, it was like that. It folded up like this. Um, 
But this is about how much room it took, and I just let it sit, just let it sit there when I was done. And, um, but you know, if you can't, you know, you can just stack them on top of each other. And so they don't get dusty, because the soapy one especially, you know, may um, attract a little bit of dust. You can just set, and I would just set, set the soap on top of the clear, because that can still get air. Then set your bowl on top of there. And there you go, they're protected. You can go put them away. And as a matter of fact, I really think personally, because I always used to let mine sit and dry, if you're not going to let them sit and dry and you want them to air dry, let me see, I think I have my razor knife here. I'm gonna put just a couple of holes in the top because I really don't, I really don't want this sealed tight. I want it to be able to dry out and put clean, or you know, just put new soap and new water on it each time that I use it. So I don't wash these out. You know, I don't. You know, I just let them dry. So the only reason you need to put the new cleaner on it is because they're dry, and you need to just get them wet. And maybe, you know, after like a long time of using it, be very careful with your knife. Don't cut yourself. Um, you know, if you've used it a lot, a lot, a lot, you may want to take this, rip it off the carpet tape, tape it to the sink, give it a good wash, and then put some new carpet tape on there and put it back on your desk. But it's not a necessity to, to wash it every time or anything like that, even if you've used it a lot that one time. I'm going to use this. Push those open a little bit. They're not really staying open, but they're not closed either. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit of ventilation in there. We don't want it to get moldy. And there we go. Set that aside. I'm still not going to lock the top down on this. I'm just going to set them all. And that's really not too much room. So there we go. There is your very own homemade stamp cleaner. It is a good idea to clean your stamps. It's a bad idea to get out of the habit of cleaning your stamps. So, because the, okay, I don't clean mine all the time. I really don't clean mine anymore at all because I lost my stamp cleaner. Um, but anything is gonna last longer if you take care of it versus not taking care of it. Even though some stamps will last forever without ever being cleaned, I don't clean my stencils either, but you know, for full disclosure, you really should um, clean your stamps. And then if you wanted to, you could take your permanent marker and you, this has a little tab right here or on the bottom or whatever, you could put wash and rinse um, just so that you can remember which is which. Um, to me, this is the way it should be cut and you wash first. So. I'll know that that's my wash one and that's my dry my rinse one but um there we go thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and for next week now next week's is really cool you're gonna like it at least i did and i didn't even know what it was until i was asked about it so for next week we are going to need we are going to need a piece of fun foam now i bought some fun foam at walmart because this fun foam is is thicker than what you get at the Dollar Tree, probably two or three times as thick, probably twice as thick. If you have a bunch from the Dollar Tree, that's okay. We're gonna use like two layers of this to get it as thick as we want it. You'll just use four of the others. So if you have them from the Dollar Tree, you can use that. But this was only 38, 33 cents, and it will fit better and work better if you get one of the sheets. But if you have to use your one from the Dollar Tree, that will be okay. So we got that for 33 cents. And then I bought some um, adhesive magnetic sheets. They're just, they don't have to be the adhesive, um, but just magnetic sheets. I got these at Walmart because they didn't have any at my Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have the locker magnets and they're this size, you know, like eight and a half by 11. And you get two of them in a package for a dollar. So if you have those magnet lockers at your Dollar Tree, those are a better deal than this because these are $2 for two half a sheets basically um four times as much for half the money at the dollar tree but this will work and so we're going to get these these are a dollar 97 
and this is 33 cents, so we're going to spend $1.50. We're also going to need some pliers, a CD case or two, and our stamps and our um, inks, and our stamp cleaners. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you stopping by. This was a really good idea. It's something that we really all should be using. Thanks again very much for your suggestion. And thank you all for watching. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.